Good afternoon. Today I'm at 44 Bowen Road in Rust Hall, Tunbridge, Wells. This is a two bed semi detached home which could be certainly, well, very much improved and there is scope there potentially for extending or as people have done in this road as well further along, they have actually created an off road parking space. So you'd have to get permission to do your drop curb here. But there is that potential to have off-road parking if you so desired or as i say there is that potential subject to planning to do maybe a single story extension just because you've got another property just there you may not be able to get the two stories but certainly should be able to get the single story so let's go in and have a look haven't got front door keys so we'll have to come out this way just to show you around this property so lots of potential so good sized garden as well as you can see there um, now I would say you have got a shed but that will have to come down uh, just very rickety but plenty of space and you've got a lovely sunny trap here because as you can see with the sun against the lens there it's just coming in so you will have a nice sunny garden this is a rear elevation so just to give you an idea and actually although I'm not a structural engineer it doesn't look any problems from the outside but there are obviously issues inside which we will discuss when we're inside so um, that's the bit there so if we just come around there to give you one other quick look so inside the property let's go in and have a look there at the accommodation so you if we actually sorry um well let's start from here so this is the rear entrance so it's not the front door so you've got this inner hallway here which is quite useful because you've got little hooks there oh, i say hooks you'd be taking it away but you've got space for putting your coats shoes and things just from a side door point of view it is a downstairs bathroom uh, so you've got your panel bath just around the corner there or space for and then you've got your wash hand basin and wc and then, as I say, back into this little entrance bit where you have got the back door to the rear garden. Then coming through into the kitchen stroke breakfast area. So again, you could potentially put a table in here, have your kitchen over there, kitchen, diner, quite a decent size. So that's all good. Obviously, you'd have your kitchen completely refitted. You do have a Worcester boiler just hiding in the corner and an understairs cupboard over there. Um, so coming through into the living, actually just actually before I do, there's the kitchen again, just from a different angle, just to give you a further idea. Then coming into the living room. Uh, yes, okay. Um, don't know what's been going on here, but it certainly doesn't look like you will need to do new timbers on your flooring there. So that will be something you'll need to budget for. I don't know what it's like where I am, but obviously around here, something has happened, whether there's been a leak or there's been some rotting going on. That does need to obviously be further investigated. But do remember, you are buying this house as seen. So things you can see very visibly, you would be bidding on the fact that you can see that. And then you have what looks like condensation in the corner. Could it be damp or something like that? Again, you'd need your own expertise to come in and have a look at that. But it's a really good size living room. So downstairs, actually not too bad. Obviously, you've got the flooring bit there to sort out, but I'm sure all surmountable to make this a lovely home. And you're in a really nice road down here. And certainly being in Rust Hall, getting more and more popular with your primary school, just on the outskirts of the main Tunbridge Wells train station as well. But here we go. So uh, yes, uh, work needs to be done, as you can see here. So it uh, needs certainly gutting and restarting again. Um, going up the stairs, uh, obviously, sorry, front door here and the entrance hall leading then into obviously the living room. But coming upstairs to the two double bedrooms, two good sized bedrooms. Uh, but as I say, potential subject to planning to go to the side or create an off road spark, sparking, off road parking space. But there you go, you can see lots of mold up there. Yeah, and bits, but it just gives you a rough idea before coming to view what it is like. Then coming into the, oh, would you call this a master bedroom, second bedroom? So a decent size. So there you go. And then comes with the Santex <laughs> masonry paint. Um, and you have to remember, as I'm showing you this video, all the rubbish you see will be coming with the property. This is how it will be sold. And then you've got your loft hatch just there. I don't know if it's boarded. 
but you are welcome to bring a ladder and have a look if you so desire. And then coming into what I would say is a master bedroom. And then here you go. Little recess area there. So that could be perfect. You may bringing out that wall there. Could you put potentially a little ensuite in there? Maybe a little wash hand basin toilet, possibly. Um, so worth thinking about. But as you can see in the corners, Again, what looks like mold, but again, you would need to check that. And then you've got the front elevation just out there. So if I just come through here, just to show you, if I open up this cupboard here, hopefully there's enough, no surprises in there. Uh, you have got the hot water tank. So actually that doesn't look too bad in itself. And neither really does the boiler, but it does just need, first of all, obviously a really good clean, then stripping back and back to the bones and then starting over again. But this could be a really nice family home and if i stay quiet for a second how quiet is that and lovely so if you'd like to come and have a look we will initially have an open house on this property do get in touch and i'll be delighted to show you around this two-bedroom family home thank you for watching